Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for Monday, July 16th. This is for all signs. Keep in mind that if this feels right, then it's right. If it feels wrong, then it's wrong. Somebody has been waiting for something to work out, which isn't, it isn't happening, and now they have to find their, their strength to do the right thing. You know, this is an ongoing thing, an ongoing theme, actually. This is the page of pentacles right here. The page of pentacles is the page of focus, okay, of... <sighs> Sticking with a task, even though it isn't a pretty one, okay? Somebody has done that. They've, they've stuck on, they've hung on to something with the Seven of Pentacles reversed, tried to make it grow, tried to water it, tried to be patient, waiting for something to change. But the Seven of Pentacles is reversed. It's unrealistic. It's not going to change, no matter what you do. The Page of Pentacles um, is about when you finally decide to go down a new road, okay? After you've put in all effort that you can put in, okay? You've waited long enough with that Seven of Pentacles reversed. And it's no longer healthy. Okay, there's no more, there's no more, it's, it's like it's, it's near death with the sun card. You're in a situation where there's no more growth. And now it's time for you to broaden your horizons. So that sun card is an is a unhealthy situation that somebody has been staying in. Yeah, so here we have the temperance card reverse, patience. Somebody has put in a lot of effort, a lot of time, done a lot of compromising to make something grow, to change the outcome. But you can't turn silver into gold if it's if it's fake silver, if it's not really silver, if it's like aluminum, you can't, you can't. There's a lack of, there's a lack of ability to make something happen that isn't meant to be and that's you know sometimes it's hard to fathom you know I we can make this change we can make this work if we put in more effort somebody has come like I said I don't know when I said it I do so many readings has come to the end of the road the end of the rope and it's time to broaden your horizons and go down a new path because this isn't going to work out it's it's not it didn't work for a reason because the temperance card is a card of purpose. It's reversed. There's a reason why this didn't work out. Trust it. Believe it. Um, and it feels like things have been um, extremely rocky. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Somebody has been really getting... Um, bored and discontent and sick of of waiting I'm sick of waiting I am I'm really sick of waiting for this to change I've put in all the effort that I can put in and now perhaps I need to go look elsewhere we have the four of cups reversed you know maybe maybe it's time for me to to step outside to step outside of this situation and go after what I want what I deserve I'm looking for more somebody has been over analyzing overworking trying to put in more effort than they should have put it in the first place into a situation that wasn't healthy in any way you know it wasn't it, it 
didn't promise any growth, but they they wanted it for some reason. Maybe it's be, maybe it's for codependent reasons, you know. I don't know. King of Pentacles, Seven of Water, Seven of Cups reversed, making the decision to go down a new road, making the decision to find that moral backbone to do the right thing, even though it hurts. It's an act of self-love. It's an act of following your intuition, being responsible, being practical. Somebody has been stuck for quite some time hanging on to a situation in which they weren't getting attention. They weren't getting what they wanted. They weren't being acknowledged. The changes that the... the um, effort that they were putting in wasn't even being seen. And I think now somebody comes to the realization, you know, I've been stuck, I've been sacrificing myself for quite some time. My intuition is finally guiding me, telling me that, you know what, this isn't happiness, this isn't joy, this isn't positive, this isn't healthy. My intuition tells me that I deserve more, that you know, I have a lot of love to offer and I'm looking for love. I'm looking for that ultimate romance. I'm looking for happily ever after. So I finally decide to be practical and stop hanging around. My intuition tells me that I want more love. I have to make this decision to be practical and stop hanging around. Somebody has been stuck in a situation, the hangman with the four of cups reversed, stuck in a situation that wasn't, wasn't giving them anything. There was no reciprocation, but hanging on anyway, hanging on to a situation where there was no reciprocation. And I feel like what happens here is somebody comes to this realization that, you know what, I want love. I want love and I deserve to be loved. Somebody was hanging on. See, they're mirroring each other. The Four of Cups reversed and the Seven of Pentacles reversed. These two are mirroring each other. It means that they, they coincide, okay? This is an unrealistic, dissatisfying situation in which you can't make it grow if it's already dead. Think about that dead plant that is dead, dead, dead. You can't bring it back to life. And now, you know, with endings, bring new beginnings. I don't need the death card. It's time to begin again. Instead of staying in a situation that is unhappy, no more growth, okay? There is no more growth in this situation. And it's time to find your moral backbone to do the right thing and broaden your horizons and go down a new path. Yes, you're going to have to make some compromises. Things may get a little unharmonious and unbalanced and chaotic for a minute while you're making these changes. But it's the practical thing to do. It's the wise thing to do. It's the mature thing to do. To make that decision. No longer live an illusion that this will grow. Now, I don't know who this reading is for, but it is for somebody. <laughs> So many people are living in illusions. It's, it's sickening. It's sickening. It's funny. I got up this morning. I don't know where this came from. There's so many fake people. It's crazy. It's out of control. The fakeness in this world. So many unhappy relationships, but people staying for all the wrong reasons. Fake. Fake. 
Do you think that other people can't see? They just don't have the balls to say anything because they're living the fake life too. Let's all be fake now. It's time to get real. The King of Pentacles is real. Grounded. Reality. You know, and it's funny, I thought about this when I first got up this morning, when you think about it. And I know we've talked about Judgment Day before. Here it comes again. You think about Judgment Day when you look back. And, and you know, it's funny, this crossed my mind. I was thinking about it, about when people, not me, because I'm, I'm, I'm reality, okay? I am totally reality. But you think, I had a couple people in mind when I was thinking this, but it's really for the collective. Um, you wasted your life on being fake to appease society. That is one sad situation. I wasted my lifetime, my lifetime being fake. Not owning my truth, living in sadness, living in negativity, living with ill health. Because of stress that was brought on because I wasn't being honest, I wasn't acting with integrity, I wasn't owning my truth. Because society said it should be this way and I have to prove. I have to prove that I am, I can fit. That I'm happy. The Queen of Cups, says Queen of Water, is about love. She's the Queen of Love. It's about following your intuition. It's about compassion. Compassion for yourself. So I feel like today is a day of realizing what is it in your life that is fake? What's fake in your life? What truth are you hiding? Who are you trying to appease? Why can't you just be yourself? Are you afraid? Letting fear drive? Fear of taking care of yourself? Fear of growing old alone? Fear of not having enough money? Fear of what the neighbors will think? Fear of what your parents will think. Fear of what your friends will think. That's ego. Every single one of those things I just named off was named off was ego. Somebody is stuck in a situation in which there's there's no happiness. I'm not getting what I want here. I'm not getting what I want. Therefore, losing potential fulfillment opportunities. There's opportunities waiting that could be 100% more fulfilling. There is with the Four of Cups reverse. There's like an opportunity that you can't even see. It's just waiting for you and it would really light your heart right up. But because that damn ego drives, you can't see it. Staying in a situation, refusing to see a new perspective because it's safe, but it's fake. There's an opportunity here for something much, much better, more fulfilling to your heart. If you could just see it, if you could just realize. This is the Page of Cups. 
This is an unexpected welcome message of love. This could be a birth. This is also follow your dreams. This is also intuitive. This is intuitive as well. Your intuition knows what you need to do. But your ego says no. I'm going to hang around here and resist this change because I know it will be a struggle. And safe. You know, these readings are going to change until the collective changes. The e this is what this is. This is a new world. It's a new age. People are waking up. And this is what needs to happen. Somebody, need, some more people need to wake up here. This is what's going on. Apparently, I'm the freaking messenger. Anyhow, um, it's time to be practical. It's time to get real. Get real. Not fake. What is it in your life that isn't real? What are you holding on to that your intuition is saying no? Your intuition says it's not right. You says something up. You're always worried about it. You're losing sleep over it. It's poking you. It's bugging you. It's causing resentment. What is it? You know what it is. What is it? Right now, you all know what it is. Something came to your mind. You, you're like, oh, I know, I know, but I can't, I can't. What if I'm making the wrong decision? No. That's, that's a cop out. Your intuition knows what you need to do. Making the wrong decision. What if I'm making the wrong decision? Is your ego trying to protect you? It's justification to stay. It's justification to be fake. Denying that inner guide. De denying that inner voice. That inner voice is telling you this is wrong. But your ego says, oh, no, no, no. That's the devil whispering in your ear. <laughs> That's what it is. Does the devil want you to be happy? Not long term. Just talk about listening to your inner guide. You know, you know they do this for me all the time. We already know that. If you've been watching me, they, they give the message from the heart. Okay, they talk to you through me, and we all know that. Listening for the truth. Now, where is this truth coming from? You already know the answer. You've known the answer for a while. Truth speaks to us constantly, but not always in words. It, it may communicate through a feeling that is hard to put into words, but brings an unexplicable sense of peace, trust, and knowledge that somehow everything is going to work out perfectly, even if there is little evidence of how it is all going to happen. You are being asked to listen for the truths beneath the words rather than the superficial message of the words themselves. This is especially true for the communications of those around you, the press, the newspapers, and the mass media. You will begin to hear fear in the words and actions of those around you. Even as they preach love, listen deeper. Listen for the truth. This oracle comes with a message of truth for you. You are hearing something that is not being said, and what you are hearing is truthful. You may feel as though you are the only one that is re really ready to hear or see it. Perhaps you have been working in a situation or loving in a relationship where truth is consistently denied. <laughs> Whew. 
We live in a world where truth is frequently avoided out of fear of what it might reveal. As the basis of such actions, consciously or not, it is the deep sense of unhealed, toxic shame. If you or someone else is fearful that the truth will expose rather than free and heal, then something personal, but then some personal healing is required. It is time for letting go of old wounds in favor of a greater sense of self-love and acceptance. I mean, I don't even need to keep reading. This card just sums up what I told you. You are being asked to love yourself enough to honor the truth. <laughs> even if you feel you are the only one doing so. Oh my God. They do it for me all the time. Stop being fake. Stop. <sighs> you are a truth seeker. Never deny or try to quiet this down to make others comfortable. You are meant to be an agitator at times, even though you don't have to confront people to do it. You don't necessarily have to say a word, though sometimes you will. Often you will agitate in the most loving sense by unveiling truth simply through your knowings. And that's exactly what Miss Jennifer is doing right now. <laughs> agitating you. Poking you. Like your inner guide has been doing for some time now. This oracle brings you guidance. If you have been worn down and depressed by the lies, gossip, deceit, or backstabbing going on around you, don't fret. <laughs> Get out in nature and spend some time communing with the infinite. Healing will come to you now, no matter how many times and how many ways or by how many tongues untruth is spoken. You know what you know in your sacred rebellious heart. The truth is your connection to the living truth of its life itself. Don't give up. Just open up to healing and know that truth always, always, eventually prevails. All right. So we have our message. Whatever it is that you are being fake about, and don't tell me you are. Because all of us are hiding something that we know is not true. It's time to get real. And when you get real, you will be rewarded. You will. For one, you'll be rewarded with inner peace. Inner peace. First and foremost, self-love. When you love yourself enough to be real, everything else falls into place. That's the ultimate abundance right there. But until you do so, you're going to continue to suffer and live that fake happiness and go to bed at night unhappy. Some of you won't. Some of you can live like that and go to bed and have no conscience. But it will catch up to you on Judgment Day. Bye.